to invite Otto Agronom to present. In 10 years, 2 billion people are not going to have enough food on their tables. Global food security is one of the most important issues in the world today, and this is really due to the fact that global population is growing all the time, but arable lands, farmlands, and water are limited. 3% of the overall water we have on Earth are fresh, and 70% of them are being used in inefficient farming technologies. Irrigation today is wasting too much water and too much fertilizers. Farmers would like to produce more, so they over-fertilize their fields. In this picture, you see the white circle? It's salt. It actually surrounds the roots beneath the soil. It burns them. This area is going to die, and it really did. In order to fix this, basically what they're doing, they're pumping additional water into the fields to wash away the excess minerals and these waters are going down directly to our aquifers, contaminating them and increasing the shortage of fresh water. So to summarize, we need to produce more food using less water with less fertilizers. Auto Agronom achieves it. Our system allows us to produce more food using up to 50% less water and up to 70% less fertilizers. How do we do that? It's all about the roots. Today the farmers ask themselves when and how much to irrigate, when and how much to fertilize. These are critical questions that must be answered usually every day, but they are basically being answered today by guessing. On the other hand, the root knows exactly what the plant needs. It is the purchasing department of the plant, and we've tailored our solution around these roots. Basically, um, by measuring chemical and physical changes in the root solution, we are able to analyze and understand the plant needs. And then by understanding them, we fulfill them in real time. So we provide the optimal growth conditions to the plants 24 hours and throughout the growth cycle. This is how we do it. We have a set of seven sensors installed in the field gathering data. And we have a hydraulic system that provides the water and the fertilizers to the plants. Our controller monitors constantly the data, analyzes it, and creates uh, irrigation and fertilization commands back to the hydraulic system. Our software constantly monitors the system performance, allowing the grower to look at it, understand it, and get alerts if anything goes wrong. So basically, everything is being monitored by the system and it is also stored in the cloud for future analysis uh, and comparison with other growers, which gives us a lot of information. And it really, really works. We've tested the system with over 70 types of crops and these are true and real uh, systems are working with results. But I think that one picture is worth a thousand words, so this is a picture that was taken a month ago in China, in our cornfields. You can really see the difference between this, the area that is controlled by our system and the competitor. It's the same variety, and we're administering less water and less fertilizing. Both are being used with drip irrigation. We started harvesting last month, and you can already see that we have 16% more yield, and the plants themselves are more healthy, they weigh 50% more than in the control area. Uh, Otto Agronom has two patents. One is irrigation control based on the root conditions, and the other one is irrigation control based on oxygen availability. Now oxygen is a key and fundamental issue for the plants. They have to have it, same as us, and uh, until today, no one is actually looking at it when he needs to take irrigation and fertilization control uh, decisions. When we listen to the plants, we actually follow the, uh, the real 
and normal growth cycle of them. We deliver them with water and nutrients in real time, and this leaves them only one task, to grow fast and strong and to produce more yield. My name is Noam Ilovich, and I'm really, really proud to present to you Otto Agronom. We are the future of sustainable precision agriculture. Thank you. Thank you, Noam. Questions by the judging committee? The system is a set of hardware and software. We replace the local co uh, controller or we establish a connection with it and we control the irrigation and hydraulic system using our controller. When we uh, supply the system, we provide it with the sensors, so the grower installs it, connects it to his valves, to his pumps, to whatever uh, uh, hydraulic equipment he has, and he's set to go. What is the ROI? The ROI is usually less than one year, and with high-value crops, such as the strawberries, it's even uh, much faster. Further questions? Uh, basically, uh, when you look at a complete uh, installation, it it's includes the hydraulics and our system. Um, when you replace the hydraulics or the, when the grower installs new uh, drip lines, he uses the drip lines that we use, which are being manufactured by all, by all big uh, manufacturers. And the cost is usually a bit higher because they use drip tape, which is uh, dispensable. Um, so. In essence, basically, uh, what we're doing is we've uh, created a fertigation as a service economic model. Basically, he pays for what he uses. If he irrigates uh, 100 hectares, he pays for these 100 hectares. So the cost of the system is actually derived from the savings that we're doing. Um, during the installation process, the first thing is we do is a trial. We take a very small area of his area. And the only change that we do is we control the irrigation and fertilization in that area. The rest is being done by the farmer himself, all the treatments, the soil treatments, the, the uh, foliar analysis, everything is being done by him. And uh, the savings that we are making, because he can compare water, fertilizer, and yield, we derive about 30 to 40 percent of it, and this is our cost. So basically, the rest he, he earns. Did I answer my, your question? We are financing only our controller. The hydraulics is something that he has to uh, purchase for himself, and this is being done already. So it's not a, a, a question of financing his installation. I'm sorry? The system is autonomous. When you install the system, it takes about two weeks until the roots are being uh, are grown. We have a very a sophisticated and simple device which we call a root trap. The roots are coming into our trap, and this is where we actually measure the chemical and physical changes. So once we get the information, the system starts to learn. We have uh, fuzzy logic control algorithms in the, in the uh, controller and when the system has enough data, we switch the automatic, and, and that's it. I'm, I'm sorry? Basically, the sensors are located in one area in the field, and before the harvest, they just take it out, and, and that's it. Can you speak about the competitive uh, environment? Yeah, the, the competitors are basically decision support systems. Uh, they produce a lot of information, a lot of data to the grower, but at the end of the day, the grower is the one that has to take the decisions when to irrigate, how much, and when to fertilize, and how much. So basically, uh, it's really a matter of correlating between the uh, amounts of data, which is something that no one really knows how to do. We've uh, actually compared ourselves to other systems with, with sensors, and the problem is that the, the grower themselves don't really know how to rely on the sensors, what to do with them, and, and, and so on. Yes. Mm. 
The system has been sold, I think we sold about 60 systems all around the world with uh, paying customers. Um, basically, we do a, the, the demo for one growth cycle and up to one year. After that, you can compare the water and the fertilizer savings and the increase in yields. And from that on, the customer signs a contract and starts paying us for the fertigation as a service. Yes, yes, they're paying a small fee that covers the cost for, of installation and some of the cost of the, of the hardware. Basically, uh, when we start a operation in a new area, we establish a company there, a joint venture with someone local who can give a, a just in time the right service. He speaks the language. He has no problem with time zones. And we actually educate him with our, uh, in our uh, house or our offices. And then uh, uh, after a few weeks, he goes to the field. In the first installations, we come over. We assist him. He is in close contact with our local agronomist using both remote uh, uh, measures like Skype or whatever. We are able to look at each system through the Internet. So basically we know exactly what he sees. And he uh, is our eyes in the field because sometimes you have diseases that the system really cannot, use, cannot do anything about. But when you see it, you can, uh, you can uh, take measurements. Uh, and if he has a question... He contacts us. We look at the same system. We look together and we solve it. Thank you, Noam. Thank you.